Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Soul Stained Ink. My name is Beth, and I am here today with a Manuscript Monday. Although, since I am filming this after 10 p.m. on Monday, June the 11th, most of you will probably be seeing this on Tuesday, but that's fine. No big deal. The fact that I actually have something for Manuscript Monday is kind of awesome. So let's just get right into it and I'll let you know what I started working on a mere matter of minutes ago. All right, so mere matter of minutes is actually something like a couple of hours, but if you've been following me on Instagram, you probably saw a couple of posts earlier today about a new idea for a cozy mystery I've had knocking around in my head, and the fact that I wasn't too sure where to start with this. I don't typically write mysteries, I definitely haven't ever written a real cozy mystery, and I don't normally have to brainstorm things, because usually I get an idea or a line for something, and paragraphs kind of jump fully formed out of my brain, and then the story just goes from there. This one, however, is playing a little hard to get. Not used to that. Maybe in my love life, but not in my writing life. It's a little frustrating. However, I had some help from Shannon Caper. If you have not checked her out, you should go check out her channel and her Instagram. She is awesome. She does these really cool uh, art deals. I don't know what to call them. She does like mixed media things and she writes and she has a really interesting sounding cozy mystery coming out soon that I'm really, really looking forward to reading. But she helped me kind of remember how to brainstorm and where to go. So I've got this that I picked up a few days ago. It is a five subject notebook and I haven't started anything in it. So whoop, don't want you to see my idea, but cozy mystery idea right there. And then I started with the brainstorming. So I have seven questions that needed answered, and each question has sub-questions. Uh, number one, who is the protagonist? And then, of course, age, occupation, gender, hobbies, etc. Number two, why or how do they become involved in this mystery? What it is. Number three, setting or location. Is it one town? Is it more? What are the main settings? Stores, homes, schools, etc. Could this be international? Number four, who are the supporting characters? Friends, family, love interest, townspeople. Number five, suspects, creepy types, collectors, weird new people. Who are they? Number six, actual villainy types. Who are the actual perpetrators of the crime? Number seven, what is the mystery? I actually already knew the mystery and perpetrators because that was what gave me the idea for this to begin with. So I'm not going to tell you guys about that yet. However, I did start like old school brainstorming with the, I'm not going to show you the what's the mystery page, with the actual bubbles. Uh, Shannon and I talked about this. This is how she does it. And it's been so long since I did a legit brainstorm that I was like, hey, I'm just going to take her advice, go old school and do it this way. So here's my setting brainstorm. Um, I'm thinking about going with uh, South Texas. My parents lived there for a year, I think. I went down and visited a few times, really liked it. Um, and it's something I know I'm from Texas. So I know a little bit about it, but what I definitely know is the protagonist. Listen to the descriptions here. Single, chubby, uh, dark red hair, early 30s, an English teacher who helps run a bookstore, and writes. I, I think I might be able to write this character. Not 100% certain I can, you know, pull it off, but I'm thinking so. And then I'm just about to start on my side or secondary characters bubbles. So that's all I've got so far. I don't want to tell you anything about it yet. It is still in the very early stages, but that is my somewhat quick manuscript Monday. I will tell you that I was in the middle of washing dishes and had to grab a notepad 
that was on the counter because this paragraph started to come out fully formed uh, while I was thinking about the actual mystery and how I was going to brainstorm. So it's not too hard to get, but it is a little more difficult than normal for me. So we'll see what happens. I have decided that this is going to be an actual like adult cozy mystery. Uh, although originally I was planning on making it a middle grade. My protagonist is going to be a fully grown woman um, as of right now anyway. So we will see how that works out for me. I'm not used to writing characters that are my actual age. I normally write younger characters. So if you have any thoughts on that, let me know. Uh, let me know if you want to know more about this and anything else I'm writing. Leave me a comment down below and give me a big thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Don't forget to go check out Shannon. Bye.